how does transfer learning relate to CNN and, and why do we even use transfer learning? So one of the greatest benefit of using transfer learning is that even if you have a relatively small training data set, say just a couple hundreds of images, you could still build something amazingly accurate by utilizing the pre-learned model from a more complex setup. So in this graph, you can see that the definition of transfer learning can be summarized into store, storing the knowledge gained, solving one problem, and applying it to a different but related problem. So in our specific use case today, we can think about like this. On the left side, we actually have the more complex model that's built off from ImageNet. This is a very popular data set, consists of about more than 2.5 million different images from more than 1,000 different classes. It can be jellyfish or some object, some vehicle or airplane, and some sort of animals. So it's a, like a diverse type of um, data set that you can use. And many, many machine learning scientists have already trained on this image net for hours, for days, that they built something very fancy and many, many deep layers to um, help with this classification problem. So today specifically, I'm introducing the mobile net V2 that we will be using. And with this knowledge from mobile net V2, all we need to do is modify the last layers related to the classification and using our cats versus dogs images and cats, do cats images, dogs images, and then retrain those last layers to immediately get a very well-performed um, model already, just within seconds or minutes. So you can imagine that with transfer learning, you can easily adapt your use case by utilizing or transferring the knowledge from an existing more complex model. This is a brief recap of what we just talked about. On the top for the red picture, you can imagine that as our mobile net V2 model with many deep layers and uh, eventually doing the classification on those image net categories, there can be 1000 classes over here. And transfer with transfer learning, we're maintaining those common feature layers at the front part of it, and then modify the last layers specifically into a binary classification of cats and dogs. And we are pushing our two, 3,000 images of cats and dogs into this new model and then retrain the last layers to still achieve a high accuracy of classifying either cat or dog. 